am live. I think. Yes, I am. Let's just turn on my comments. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, hang on, that didn't work. Nothing's easy, is it? Hang on a minute. There we go. Where's my comments gone? Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to make it work for me because, you know. Live chat. Oh, there's Michelle's watching. Welcome back. How are we, everyone? Welcome back to um, a weekend of live Facebooks and demos for the Great International Craft Show weekend. And today is Friday and we are, we've got some amazing things on special on nataliemay.com.au. Oh, look, you've all tuned in. Did you know I was coming or something? How are you going? Um, so we have got some amazing things on special. We have some stamps and stencils and dies and pattern papers are all 15% off this weekend, across the entire weekend. We know that some of you are doing it tough in other states. So we, <laughs> so we thought we would treat you with a, a weekend of specials. And for today only, we have got Tim Holtz products at 15% off. So I am working with those today. Hey, Linda, how are you? Lovely. Hello, Marina. So we have got lots and lots of things on special. So Tim Holtz products, which will include distress inks, distress oxides, distress paints, all of the things. I'm just opening the uh, distress inks here. Um, we have got... Uh, did Tim Holtz embellishments on special? We have got, you know, his metal hardware. We've got all sorts of bits and pieces on special as well. So you'll find those over at nataliemay.com.au. And a um, couple of other little things here. You can follow me on Instagram, um, Happy Dax, H A P P Y D A K S. And you can hashtag Natalie May scrapbooking. Uh, so, and this here, this is my creative community on Facebook. So if you type that in, you will find Natalie May's, well, my, you'll find my, my group where we all get in there, share the love around and make some pretty things. And I quite often jump in there and do bits and pieces. So I'll let you in on specials, show you some pre-orders that you can do, things like that. So... Today I'm going to do a little art journal page using Tim Holtz products. I have got the, and I'm going to use some Heidi Swap products today. I have here in front of me, oh my gosh, I've got a really crooked camera. What's going on there? Is that better? Yeah. Um, I have got my Art by Marlene art journal here. So this little journal is a binder journal and... I'm going to do a double page maybe, or maybe I'll do a single. <laughs> maybe I should have thought of this earlier. I'll do a double, what the heck. Uh, so this is my Art by Marlene journal and they, this has got like a, a really nice sort of watercolour-y sort of style paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to work like this. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a really light coat of gesso before I start. So for those of you who don't know anything about art journaling, art journaling is, um, you get, there's a couple of things. First of all, I offer classes online, which are fantastic for you to do. Um, and we have got lots and lots of different classes online. And the cool thing about classes online with me is that we send you out a kit, if there's a kit included, of course, and we will also do a, um, you will have, you'll get added to a private Facebook group and you will then have access to the class permanently. So you can go back and you can do it again and again and again and you can make sure that you can do, do it at your own speed, you can catch up whenever you like. If you can't finish the class, you can't do it with me live, then that's okay you can catch up whenever you like. 
So art journaling is all about creating, expressing creativity in a journal. Art journaling is lots of different things for lots of different people. I am, uh, for me, art journaling is really just about having fun on paper. And if I don't like it, I turn the page. I don't have to show anybody. I don't have to share it with anybody. I just want to create and have fun. And I think that's what I love the most about art journaling. So I have got a, a paper here, which is a watercolour style paper. It's a version of watercolour paper. It's really quite um, a thinner watercolour paper. It's, it's a little bit absorbent. And I've just realised I've got gesso on my mouse. Um, and it is really, really nice paper. But what I want to do today is I've given it a coat with gesso. I'm just going to stand up so I can talk into the microphone while I do this. I've given it a really light coat of gesso to seal the paper because I haven't exactly decided what I'm going to do on this page. Not 100%. Um, no plan. You know that's how I roll when it comes to doing these lives. So what the gesso does is it seals the paper. It seals it so that you can put anything you like over the top of it and it's not going to absorb into the paper. So if you're working in a surface that you don't know much about, like you haven't used before, then you can seal it with gesso and it will protect your paper and it won't be super absorbent. So that's what gesso does for this particular project. I'm using a white gesso today, and the brand that I have used is Chromacryl, which is one that I sell online. Um, so you can get that online. And I didn't put down a super thick coat. It's dry already, so there you go. A um, Couple of other things. We have got um, some fantastic bundles available this weekend. So we've got some great bundles on special. So. For example, this is one of the bundles that we have. This is the Heidi Swap kit. So it's a little mini tag kit. I have one open floating around here somewhere. Somewhere being the operative word. Um, and here we go. And they are a watercolour tag that are embossed. So let me show you what we have here. So they're super cute. So can you see that there is embossing, where's the camera, there we go, embossing on that. So there's one there. This little baby one says, love you. That one says, dreamers. But they have got this embossed image on them. So they're really, really nice to use on art journals and tags. That one's got a little leaf on it, so it's that one. And these have got some words. So what I thought I might do is use them in my on my art journal page and create a little something something. So uh, before I start, because I have got two loose pages here, I'm actually going to use a little bit of sticky tape and stick those together. Let me just yell out to my assistant to grab some sticky tape. Hey Louise, yeah. can I get some sticky tape please? Sticky tape? Yep, just normal, just sticky, normal tape. sticky tape will do. Sorry, knew I forgot something. Oh, good. Um, and I'm just going to pop the sticky tape so that I can work across the whole page. Um, and that will join the pages together and I can work seamlessly. Uh, and I'll cut that off before, obviously, I put it into my journal. So with art journaling, art journaling is about building multiple layers and uh, creating lots of different elements underneath. This little pack here also includes these three ink cubes, and I'm gonna be using those today as well, which is fantastic. Um, Jeanette's just asked the question, is gesso the same as using ovarian glue? Wow, haven't come across ovarian glue, but it is not an adhesive. Gesso is an undercoat and a sealer. Um, so I'm just laughing at ovarian glue. Good on you. Um, uh, do you mean like a a gel medium, Jeanette, perhaps. The gesso is only an undercoat. It's not sticky at all. It is definitely not a 
Um, it's not PVA. We don't use PVA glue in, in art journals. PVA is a kid's glue or it's like a woodworking glue. Don't use PVA. Um, it's, it's not a, a fantastic product to be using in your journals. So we use gel medium and I'll talk about that in a moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using some collage paper in my background. There's lots of different collage papers available. So here are the Dina Wakeley collage papers. These are fabulous value for money. They are not on special this weekend, but they're a really awesome product that I think all art journalists should have in their stash. So this is a set here, and this one is called Collage Paper Backgrounds. And this has just got a great combination of black and white backgrounds, including some really cool windows, some fantastic phrases. This is possibly one of, uh, I was gonna say it's one of my favorites, but I'm gonna say that every time I turn the page, aren't I? This is just words, and I'm a bit of a sucker for words. So these are all black words on the tissue paper. This uh, is her latest release. This is Elements. Elements has got circles and it's got these little dashes. It's got some feathers and marks, tags, faces. Really lovely. Um, this is probably the one that I use the most. I can't draw faces. I'm absolutely terrible at it. But the collage faces has got uh, the black faces and it's also got them in the white as well. Uh, really, really love them. And then finally, this one here is called Vintage Sketches. And this is some of Dina's older work uh, that she has turned into collage paper. So there's plenty of options available for you with these. Uh, I have got here, I've just pulled some aside. And to show you what they are, this is them here. So you can tear them and then you can glue them onto your page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to not to use that one I might use I want something a little bit perhaps a little bit lighter what have we got here might use that one there let's pop those aside I'll keep that one handy that might make some great titles in a moment and I also have so these are the patterns so let's have a look and see what's in this pack and what I can use So there's some amazing elements here. We've got some butterflies, some splats, and she's also got some plain in here, which is excellent for stamping on to create your own. Uh, I have pulled aside a, a face. I might use one of these, uh, and I've got some of these here. I might use those. So how do you stick them down to your page? You need to use um, you need to use gel medium. Just finding the perfect paintbrush here, guys. Hang on a sec. And no, I'm not going to use a paintbrush. I'm going to use my uh, catalyst tool. So gel medium is an adhesive. This is the best product for collaging. This is a, a fantastic product for collaging. Adding collage elements to your paper. So, for example... I'm just going to tear this, and that's torn in a perfectly straight line, which I don't really want too much of a perfectly straight line. I want to angle a little, so I'm just going to tear that a bit more. I'm going to put that across the top. So I'm going to use my catalyst tool because it goes on nice and thin. I'm going to put it onto the paper first, like that, in a nice thin coat. So gel medium is a uh, is an adhesive and a sealer. So I'm just going to lightly go over the top, and what's going to happen is it's going to seal the paper really, really nicely. And now I'm just going to, with my fingers, polish off any excess gel medium, just so it doesn't take an hour to dry, because nobody's got time to watch paint dry. I've got my other bit here. I'm going to pop that down the bottom. Um, by using a catalyst tool to put it down will enable me to put on a thin coat and not make it super thick. I am going to be putting color over the top. This is just going to go into the background, nothing else. And I wanna pop a little bit more on. Uh, 
and I like to connect it to the edges I don't necessarily I don't love it floating in the middle like that so I think that if I put it there it's just it needs to be connected to something so I'm just going to pop it here on this side so putting it down and then running my catalyst tool over the top by using this awesome little tool like I said it puts on a lovely thin coat and it's not putting it on too thick and making it um, soppy and dripping I don't want that to happen I just want to now add a second collage element so I'm going to use this paper with the words on it and I'm going to connect it to the paper that I've already put down by doing that I'm putting it on the side of my page so that it is anchored to the edge and it's not floating and I'm not and I'm making sure that it's all all my elements are kind of going the same way as well just like that I'm going to pop some more across the bottom down here just going to tear that off a little bit more so art journaling is really fun a really fun way of using up the products that you've got trying new techniques um, anything that you can do in an art journal you can do on a card anything that you can do on a card or a scrapbook page you can do in an art journal it's all very transferable across all paper crafts and that's really important okay so there we go that'll do if I'm using a paintbrush I would wash my paintbrush immediately because gel medium because it is a, um, a transparent adhesive element it will um, it'll dry and make your bristles on your brush stick together and make you swear like a truck driver when you can't get it off that's for sure so um, it's an excellent glue so what I'm going to do with my piece of paper towel now is just wipe off any excess it's drying really really quickly which is fantastic and I'm good for the moment with that. All right. So what I'm thinking that I might do here is I want to layer some of these elements across my page. Now, all the words and bits and pieces go in lots of different ways. These cool little watercolour tags. These would be fantastic to go into art, uh, into onto cards and onto... Um, Sorry, having a brain fade. And onto scrapbook pages. But I want to use it like this. So I'm thinking that I might do something like that, that and that. With these ones here. Across the bottom, across the top here. One, two. Maybe three. And then I'll pop that one up there like that. Can layer them up. And we can ink them up. Alright, so that's kind of something. There's a... a little bit of a plan going on at the moment i'm just going to hit that with the heat gun quickly to dry it off and we are good to go so like i said the art journal classes online are suitable for everybody when you jump onto the website and look under the classes heading you will find um all of the classes are there and you can find the materials that you will need for the classes as well. I make sure that I write down what I used. If you have something similar, then of course you can use that. You're not expected to have all of the tools and the materials. Uh, of course, that's that's not the case. So I show you what I tell you what I use, and if you have something similar, you can add add that or use those products. So you don't have to have all the things. The next thing I want to do is I want to add some colour. So using a combination of the awesome little Heidi Swap kit that I have here and some Distress inks, which are on special for today only, I'm going to add a, a, a bit of a wash to my background. My wash is going to come using a piece of wrapping, a piece of plastic bag, and I'm going to do a great smoosh technique for to do this 
Um, so I've got those three colours there. I don't know what they, I can't remember what they look like. So the first thing I really do need to do is test the colours. So let's grab a scrap bit of paper from here, from here, from somewhere, from, oh, here we go. Sorry, looking. Okay, so these are really, really lovely greens. So this is a really nice, bold chalky green and if you don't know how it's going to look test it first there's no way i'd put something on my page without testing the colors that i i want to use okay testing the product on, and the colors so this is a really light pink i've actually used this one quite well before okay so there's the three colors a um, couple of other things test and see if it's a water soluble ink dip your wet brush into it Oh, clean brush would have been awesome. Yes, look at that. It's a water-soluble ink. So that means I can use it in lots of different ways, okay? So test, have a play first. Um, I'm not going to use the pink today. I'm going to use the two greens. I've also cracked out some Distress Re-Inkers, some Stress Ink Re-Inkers, and also some Distress Oxide re-inkers instead of using paints for my project so I'm going to use those instead um, I have a water spray handy this is my choice of water spray I love the trigger on this one fancy Adelaide water not really so that's all dry so let's commit to it when I put down a color yeah they do look a little bit different to the cap colors um, sorry, Chrissy's just commented. And of course, the photos never do it justice. So um, you do get to see that pink is a really lo lovely skin tone pink too, by the way. Um, so what I want to do the, with the colours, I want to have a bit of a play with the inks. So I'm using a, a matte here. I've got a, and again, I'm going to test the colour before I use it. So this is Speckled Egg. Oh, it's a really lovely dusty inky colour. Let's bring my water a little closer. And have some paper towel handy. Um, and then I've got some of the new Salvage Patina. So there's no reason why I have to use the ink on the ink pad. I can use the ink like this. Oh, look at that. It's quite strong. It's a, bit, a little bit too bold for me. I'm thinking that maybe... This one might be a little bit better um, for my background because I'm going to be adding those two greens that we had a bit of a play with. So um, I'm going to go, I'm going to wipe this off and I'll add this on later, I think, because I don't want to accidentally put it on there straight up. Um, paper towel handy. Right, let's just get into it. So I'm going to add, where's my plastic? Add my plastic here, grab my paintbrush. Grab a slightly bigger paintbrush and I'm just wetting my brush just a little just to make sure that um, it's, it's pretty nice and bold and a little bit more fluid here I can spray it with water and I'm going to start smushing on my color to create some interest in the background okay and, it, and it's great because it's a water soluble product it's going to move around a bit. So the more water you add, the more fluidy it becomes. A bit like Magicals, really. Um, but this is a water-based product. So I just need to be aware that if I'm going to build colour with it, I can, I might end up reactivating it too much. So because we have gesso in the background, I can spray a little water on here as well and spread it around with my brush. And I'm just using the side of my, my paintbrush just to spread it around. And it's just a really simple, easy way of getting colour onto your project. So I'm pretty happy with that. I've got this lovely lighter, lighter blue at the top. And I'm quickly going to hit that with my heat gun just to make sure 
that it is dry before I put down my next coat. So, because I'm going to build up some colour here and I'm going to be adding some greens as well. Those lovely greens that I took out of that Heidi Swap pack. There you go, that's semi-dry. Um, and I'll wipe off my work surface. So this is a, I'm working on one of the Roll Up Ranger mats. There's a couple of different ones available online in the store at the moment. And um, they are fantastic if you are going to crops and traveling around a bit. They're really, really handy. Uh, so now I'm going to start using the Heidi Swap colors. I'm going to build my color. I'm going to mix them together a little bit. So I'm just going to put the green and the blue, sorry, the two greens down on the mat here, activate them with water, give them a nice generate, generous um, coat of water before I smush onto my project. Like in this. So this little technique works great with um, to, to create cards with as well. At the moment, it's looking a little messy, but anybody who has done any of my classes knows sometimes the messy background is part of building up to the finished product. The finished product you never see straight away, okay? You have to build to it. So I'm pretty happy with that. I'll bring it up to camera in a moment to show you. And then I'm going to add that last colour. Just going to dry it off quickly. So those two little, super cute little ink pads there. And it's given a really lovely, soft, uneven background. And I'm just taking the dampness out with my heat tool. Drink break. Hello Bromwyn Latter, how are you my love? And while I have Chrissy watching, are you there Chrissy? Are you still watching darling? Congratulations on your new bubby. Your new little person that you made. How fabulous. I hope she's behaving herself and is super duper cute. Alright, so let's add a little bit more colour. I could do with a little bit more depth. So I'm going to bring in some of this salvaged patina. Oh, apparently I'm going to bring in a lot of this salvaged patina going by the amount that I just put on there. So wet paintbrush, spreading it around on my mat so I don't go on it, so it doesn't go on as a big fat blob. And then I've got my plastic bag again. Oh, look at that colour. And I'm just going to build up some on the edges to start with. There's a lot going on here. So I might just water that down a bit. And I'm getting this really fantastic build up of colour here. This looks great in real life here. And hopefully it's transferring really nicely over to the camera. <laughs> So refills can re be really, really helpful as well. Okay, so um, another colour that would look spectacular with this is Forest Moss in a Distress Oxide. I can also tap onto here. Have I got Forest Moss here open? Let's have a look before I... Just having a look in my stash here behind me, guys. Just bear with me just a jiffy. Peel paint. Just thought before I go and crack open another one, but let's crack it open. Why not? And I'm going to do some stamping over this as well. Oh, as well. So this green, there's no reason why I can't do this. Straight onto here. Activate it. So this forest moss has got a really, really lovely yellow base to it so it's a yellow based green rather than a blue based green 
And because distress oxides react differently, okay, it's going to get, it's going to give some really lovely depth over the top. Sorry about, sorry about that, guys. That was my phone ringing. That will have to just wait. Um, Got to love that. You know the phone only rings during a live Facebook, right? Okay. So that is looking okay. I want to add a little bit more just peeling it off of here. Just a little splatter. And I'm going to do some stamping over this in a minute. And like I said, I might do a little bit more collaging. Not sure. Okay, drying it off quickly. This, this black up here is looking really quite bold. So we're going to need to balance that out with some black stamping and I can add a little uh, swipe of gesso over the top of this as well, okay? And that's gonna tone down these big black bold areas because it's quite a soft background and then that is like full on. So I'll show you how we can tone that down. So I can tone that down using white paint but I've got here some white gesso just off screen. I um, have a big tub of gesso and I'm going to use a small, a thinner sort of brush to do this. So a little bit of gesso on here and I'm just gonna take, take it off on the side because I don't want it super dark. And I'm just going to then Like I'm taking the excess off my brush on the side. I don't really want too much on there. I just want a nice swish over the top. It just tones it back. Puts a little wash over the top. So the other thing that's making this work, the colours that I have chosen are all alongside each other on the colour wheel. I know, here she goes banging on about that colour wheel again. But if I was to add orange to this, for example, it would turn into a hot mess that just would not look great at all. So that's why we use colours that are alongside each other on the colour wheel for this sort of project when we are using wet mediums. All right, I'm going to quickly add a little bit of stamping to the background now. Uh, I have a couple of stamps here that I'm going to use. Uh, both of them are Natalie May scrapbooking stamps. What do you know? So these are my hand-drawn reeds, and I'm going to stamp these in forest moss, this gorgeous forest moss. And I'm going to do a combination of this and that, that lovely Heidi Swap green. So this is putting like a really lovely sort of reedy look. Oh, reedy. These are reeds. Of course, it's a reedy look. Reeds over the page and across the page. Um, and I designed this stamp because I, so I used one many, many, many years ago. And then, of course, it was discontinued because that's what happens to all the cool stuff. So you see it and you buy it straight away. Um, so that is my stamp and that comes in a set with some really lovely phrases uh and i'm going to now add oh i've got some over stamping here look at me being a bit special i can just blend that out because it's a water based And a bit, of a bit of a tip, when you do buy my stamps, they do come as a whole piece of red rubber. So you do need to cut really nice and tight in and around them, okay? There we go. Can you see how well that, that forest moss works over the top of that? It's not super green because it's got that lovely yellow base to it. It's really, really nice. If you don't have that colour in your stash, I think you guys are missing out personally. Um, all right, I'm going to now stamp all the way across here in black. But before that, I want to dry off this just to make sure that it's dry. Dry, dry, dry. That's enough. And now I am going to use this guy. 
Look what I've got. The new Distress Archival inks. So we have got Ground Espresso, Hickory Smoke, Vintage Photo, and the Piece de Resistance. Oh. Hey, did you hear that, Louise? What's that? Me speaking in French. <laughs> um, so this guy is the black of all blacks. So let's test this baby out. I haven't yet. Hey, Lou, could you grab off my trolley for me the normal Ranger Distress ink, please? Oh, we sold out of these. Oh, I think there's only a couple left. Oops. But, bugger. But, hey, they're going to come back in again. Correct. Hey, on my Thank desk, you. back to back to me. <laughs> Behind you. Turn. Um, the normal Black Ra Ra Ranger Archival ink, please, up the top. Thank you. Oh, that's so funny. Um, no, Gaylene, the refills for the new um, archival inks are not in stock as yet. I have not been able to get them. So let's test the difference between these. I haven't done this before. This is a Tim Holtzy thing. He's done it. So this is the normal Ranger Jet Black. Oh, look, that needs re-inking. What do you know? Let's just go squish, 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 squish. So um, the deal is that black soot is blacker. Let's go, baby. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Okay. Don't laugh at me. Um, okay. I don't know. Is that showing up? Yeah, it's totally showing up. You can see that there's a difference in the blacks. But, you know, black is black is black is black. How many shades of black are there? About as many shades of white, I can tell you, from someone who's currently going through house painting. All of the shades of white. Um, all right. I'm going to stamp. I'm going to ink it first in the Hardy Swap. And I'm going to layer. Oh, geez, these stamp nice. Yes, uh, we are currently in mid-house paint. So our, our house currently has no furniture. I have... Two very annoyed dogs. And I think I have an annoyed husband as well. He's not loving it. Because um, this was all my idea. Uh, and a teenager who's living in the old studio. We're living in the teenager's room. Seriously, we have a, a TV in the house. A kitchen table. And that's... Oh, and a lounge suite. And that's probably it. It's... Um, oh, it's so much fun. But yes, choosing a colour to paint your walls in. Not my favourite thing to do. All right, I'm going to bring that up and show you. So that is that lovely Heidi Swap Green with my stamp. Now, that is from one of my stamp sets, which whose name I cannot recall. But that's okay. And I'm going to add now some black stamping over the top because we need the black for balance, okay? There we go. It's all about those layers. All right. And it is a lovely true black. And I do like that. So they're going to be coming back in again soon. Uh, we will be, I'll be doing another order of these today. Maybe tomorrow. You know. Very, very shortly. And I want one. I'm going to do one so it just sits up a little higher on that side. In the middle. And I've connected the end of it to the middle here so that the stem's not floating. And then I'm going to have to stamp. And I'm going to need to actually draw some more in with a pen. So I'm pretty happy with that. In fact, I, I really do love that. Uh, how am I going for time? Excellent. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to colour some of these um, Heidi Swap tags while that is drying off quite nicely. Then I'm going to be adding some splatters, a little scribble. I haven't decided if I'm going to stick a face on yet and I need to colour some of these dots. So with these lovely tags, we've got... I decided I was going to do three hanging. One, two... 
three, one sitting up by itself, and then a couple are going to be connected. Uh, maybe I don't need to use them all. Who am I kidding? I might pop that one up there. Pop that one up there. All right. So now I can colour them in any colour I like because I have gone with a a greenish background here. I probably want to choose a colour that is opposite on the colour wheel. So with my colour wheel, with my colour wheel, of course, I want something that's going to pop. So because I've stuck with these colours, I really think that choosing a colour that's going to complement it. So I'm going to go towards, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be purple. Uh, but I want to go with, I've got some picked raspberry in a reinker here. And a little festive berries in a Distress Oxide reinker. And I'm going to make a little wash with those. I'm just going to turn my mat over because I can't remember if I cleaned it. And I'm going to use these like a watercolour paint. Why? Because I can. Because I can. And I haven't shaken that enough. Um, there we go. Oh, that's a bit nice. Alrighty. I'm going to use my water spray and I'm going to make that quite a fluid liquid. Is anybody still watching? Am I just waffling onto myself here? What's going on? See how that's now quite liquidy? Okay? Liquidy. Quite fluid. And I'm, I'm kind of blending them together and I'm going to work with a bit of a wash. So I can dip it straight in there. Let's do a tester. Oh, let's clean my hands. Let's do a little tester here. So I'm going to wet it. And then I'm just going to add some water to move it around. And what's happening is it's creating a really lovely wash over the top. Okay. Take it. I'm just tipped it off onto some paper towel. Didn't mean to do that off camera. Let's get some paper towel on camera. Like I said, I'm totally winging this. I have zero plan when it comes to doing this. I wonder, could I drag it through? Let's find out. What's it going to look like? Oh, yeah, that'll work too. Oh yeah, nice. Because it's almost like stained the paper. So I really, I really quite like that. So I might put a little bit more pink over on the side here so that it's just not all one colour. How bad can it go, right? Oh, hello, Susan from Bendigo. Hello, Kirsteen from Two Streets Over. How are you, girls? Hope your day's going okay. And I'm just going to put a bit of pink up the top. And now I'm just going to use the water just to thin it out because it's super bold, which is fine. But the rest of the page isn't super bold. So you can see you can see that lovely embossing. So what I might do is take some off to tone it back. And I really like that. There we go. Spray, dip, spray, and now it's quite a a soft, a soft tag, okay? And they don't all have to be the same size, the same colour. But it's just taken some of that intensity out of these colours, okay? Hello Fiona Harvey, how are you my friend? Ladies, did any of you watch my previous little impromptu live? I did a little, um, a bit of a live about the Vicky Booten colour study kit. That is, uh, go back and watch that, treat yourselves. It was an unplanned. Uh, but I showed you what the, the final kit looked like. And uh, there's a few of you watching actually that have done the, the Vicky Booten colour study project and loved it. So... 
um, I'm thinking that um, if, you, if you've got a little couple of minutes on your hand, jump online and have a bit of a look and go back and watch when I'm finished here. And you'll be able to see what is included in the colour study, the exclusive colour study kit. I still have a couple of them left. So that's why I wanted to show you on screen. And I don't very often get to um, flip through a, a final product. Oh, sorry if my video is jumping and flashing, Gaylene. I might not have remembered to turn on my Wi-Fi, turn off my Wi-Fi. Have I got a little stutter today? That tends to happen. It's Friday. So now that they're dry, I'm just gonna pop them aside. Bring my page back and I, I think I might use some of this I've got this here so I could add a few little splatters so I'm just going to do what's what we call a smokers tap and I'm going to do it over over my garden and just tap it on I'm not doing a wrist flick I'm doing a a smokers tap I was going to color in some of these little berries but this is going to work just fine and by doing it doing it this way it will it will uh they won't disappear too much into the background and muddy up so oh my voice is good though oh thanks doll my husband would beg to differ i'm sure um all right, so let's just wipe off that mat. So this is where these little craft mats are fantastic, all right? You can wash that baby clean and use it again and again and again. Uh, I'm going to quickly dry those dots off and have a drink break. Oh, Fiona's just commented saying, what a great value kit it is. Um, her and Kelly have made the album um, and countless layouts. Kelly and Fiona put the album together at the retreat that I held back in May, the Creative Escape Retreat. We are currently in the process of just dotting our I's and crossing our T's and organising a very awesome guest teacher for the next retreat, which will be in May next year. May 20 to 22, 2022. So you all get one of these little flies in your order over the weekend and you'll need to keep an eye out for when bookings open, but you'll have plenty of time to um, put a deposit and perhaps organise a lay-by or something like that. We encourage interstate guests um, and of course there is a COVID, um, a COVID clause and you can go and find that back on my blog because we have to now incorporate that because of life, you know. But the, um, the retreat is so much fun. You will have an absolute ball. It's the perfect opportunity for a girls weekend away. So I cannot wait to tell you who the, uh, the guest is going to be at the next one. But we, like I said, we are just finalizing some details at the moment and uh, finalizing the package, trying to make sure that um, we make it a, a fantastic value for money three day event in the Adelaide Hills. So keep an eye out for that. Um, my little tags here, I'm just giving them a black outline because I have got black on the rest of my page. So I am using a pilot pen. These are the, I think it's like the, the G7 something, something, something but it's just a super fine pilot pen and I'm being really messy because there's nothing else pretty about this page at the moment. It Well, not so much pretty, nothing else precise about the page. So I love to do a, a lovely little doodle line like that and like that, nearly done. And I'll quickly finish this page off in a jiffy so that I can have some lunch before the next live Facebook. So I'm going to come back again at 3.30 and I'm going to make 
a super cute little series of cards using an ultra new stamp and some watercolors so something really really cute and fun and easy to do um, and I can't wait to share that with you this afternoon it's gonna love it um, all right so today only you've got 15% off of Tim Holtz products so that means that you can get distress inks and refills like I've been using here today at a discounted price they're not going to be on special tomorrow I'm using the art by Marlene art journal artsy Arabia art journal and I am using the little mini kit that is in um, on special this weekend as well let me show you how cool these colors are hey can you see how they now look all like wishy-washy and a little perhaps tie-dyed? You can still see that um, embossed image over the top. And I could probably run an ink pad over it to, to bring that up, but I don't want to do that. I like that whole idea of it being um, a little bit looser. So I want that to go there and there and there and i'm going to run it through that string so the kit actually that little those little tag kit includes some string and i totally undid that the wrong way um and i'll tie those off on screen off, off camera because nobody needs to watch me do that um i love this one here that says i love my tribe so i'm gonna i wonder i wonder if I'm going to mess this up, if I wipe that over the top with an ink pad. No, I'm going to mess that up. So I might just do that um, with a pen in a minute. And that needs to go up there for balance. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Two, three, two, one. No, maybe just two up there. All right. And if I wanted to, I could add that... That little tissue paper face here, like that's kind of cool too. So I might do that. Why not? How am I going for time? Oh, it's fine. I've got nowhere to be. I'm the boss, aren't I? So do you want to see how to get images and, and, and easily tear them off of your tissue paper? I've got a wet paintbrush here. And because this isn't going to tear beautifully because I'm on camera, and that's Murphy's Law. I'm going to use a paintbrush to do this. So just going like that, you make everything look so easy. Um, Emma, Emma's just commented saying, yes, I make everything look easy. Um, I, oh, that's my mum. Oh, my mum's just shown up. All right, I'm going to have to cut this short because, gee, that woman can talk. Um, sorry um so yeah there you go so the if you put if you wet your tissue paper right you'll find it much easier to tear okay so i'm just gonna tear that off like that oh, sorry tear that off paint that down like that yeah. and around there and then tear that back and now it'll tear nicely along that line in theory all right wipe wipe the embossing over with the white with white maybe hey um karen that's actually not a bad idea i might give that one a whirl in a moment all right so there we go so this will go on like that i just want to tie oh that's cut a little close to the top of her head do i want to put that there she's kind of a bit of a head in the middle of nowhere i don't know Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll do that. So how do I put that on? I'm going to use gel medium. So I'm going to come back to that gel medium again with the... So I'm using the Dina Wakely gel medium. There are lots of different brands of gel medium available. Um, bit of a tip, I only sell the ones that I recommend and that I would use on a normal sort of basis. So I'm just going to pop this down on here. So rather than putting the gel medium directly onto the page... Because the 
because the page has been created using a water soluble product if i put it straight down onto the page that ink's going to run so if i put it onto here first find my tweezers pick it up and now put that on like so and then just gently I'm not going to get any extra gel medium where I don't want it to go because I was being super duper gentle ish okay so that is going to work so now she's on there I don't love that it's got a straight line across there and it's probably not showing up on camera but you know you get the drill um, I'm going to staple those on or tie those off onto that line so that it has it's connected to this tissue that runs through here um, actually that's worked really well maybe the words that I use I go, can go across here uh, something that I use a lot when I art journal are thickers I love me some thickers so these are, and you may notice that I have just done a massive top up of thickers on the website. So what I love about them is they are an instant title. You don't have to think about it. I can just use this one now, which says awesome. Sorry, didn't mean to sing. I did that for you and for um, for Kelly and Fiona. They love it when people sing in um, videos, don't you guys? Um, all right, so I'm going to pop that down. And I'm putting it... So let me show you where I'm putting it. So where that face just went on, there is a line where the collage paper, that tissue paper, is there, right? I hate that. So let's take the focus away from it. And pop the title over it. So this is why there are so many thickers in the online store. They are all listed in new for July. Um, they're not unspecial, but you still need them in your life. So um, there you go. So in a moment, I'm going to tie some knots in these bits and then stick them on there, there. And there, I'm going to pop one up here, and there's my balance. Um, and I'm, I'm actually, I'm pretty happy with that. It's, it's worked out really quite nicely. So I'll take a photo in a moment, um, photograph the, the finished product, pop it online, and you will be able to have a really, real good look, close analyse of, of how it looks. Uh, the, so don't forget, this weekend, I've totally lost my string. Oh, here it is. This weekend, we have got 15% off of stamps, stencils, and pattern paper and dies on nataliemay.com.au. You will find 15% off of Tim Holtz products for today only. You will find lots of other awesome little stamp and die a stamp and die bundles and stencil bundles as well on special in our show specials tab on the website um, make sure you get on board with that uh, don't have any scissors how do I not have scissors here we go the uh, the stamps and dies will be on special all weekend the Tim Holtz products only for today because tomorrow there's going to be a a brand new special um something equally awesome i will be back here at 3 30 oh my gosh that's in an hour um and i will be doing the next live facebook which you are also gonna love of course so jump online to nataliemay.com.au get on it now do all the things and then actually make something with the stuff that you buy guys um Paper pads are on sale as well. Thank you, Susan. Of course, I had to forget one thing because the brain's doing too much at once. Um, so there you go. Okay, guys, chat to you soon. Um, wash your hands, kiss your kids, do all the things, um, and I will 
uh, post a photo of this finished project up very shortly and link you to the products uh, so yeah you can you can get on it and enjoy it and don't forget one lucky customer this weekend will win a um, a prize pack added to their order and uh, but you've got to be in it to win it okay chat to you all soon bye